So, how dangerous is a Marauder 25 caliber at 100 yards? Welcome back, guys. The other day, I heard somebody make the comment that an air rifle wouldn't break the skin or leave a bruise at 100 yards. And I thought, well, this guy must be thinking of the Daisy Red Rider he had when he was a kid. So it got me to thinking how to test this. We know it's true. The air gunners know it's true, but most people don't. Uh, on Mythbusters, they use a human analog, which is a hog. Well, I can't afford a hog, but I can afford a ham. So, what we're going to do today is I'm going to go outside, set up the shooter's table. We're going to set this up at 100 yards and, exact, and see exactly how far through the ham the pellet travels. Because if it penetrates the ham at 100 yards, it'll definitely penetrate your skin and leave more than a bruise. Now, it's real windy outside today, so I'm going to take one of my mega cheap paper plate targets, staple it under this to get my windage because we've got variable winds from 15 to 20 mile an hour and hopefully I can I can hit this guy right away. I'll put a camera down on the end watching the ham and uh, I'll meet you back inside after we're done and we'll cut it open and see did it bruise the skin, did it penetrate, what it actually did. It's hitting. It sure don't sound like it. Hmm. I, according to the sound the backstop's making, I don't think I'm hitting it. One more shot, and we'll go look at it. I don't know if it's hitting it or not, fellas. Okay, so I went down to look at the ham because I swear I couldn't hear no difference and the pellets hitting the backstop thinking I'd missed it. I actually hit the little one inch dot and all that wind. Uh, another one about three quarters of an inch away. One there, one there, and a glancing blow there. But as you can see, I nicked the target, another hole there, another hole there, another hole there, a glancing blow there. I could not tell the difference in the sound from it hitting the target. The interesting thing that we see straight away, this was leaned against the target. This pellet didn't make it all the way through. It looks like every one of these made it through. So the next step will be let's cut it open and verify that. Okay, it looks like the lowest one that hit was right there. So we're gonna set that off to the side. Yeah, I took that straight out of the refrigerator. We're going to eat that after a while. There's the paper. There's the wrap. And you heard the pellet. Hit the table. You can see where all four shots 
went in. So let's cut right down. As you can see, that's almost as wide as my hand. That pellet did not have any trouble getting through. Let's go to, these two are kind of in line with each other. Let's see what happened there. The same thing. They had zero problem. Tearing all the way through that ham. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to leave a bruise. <laughs> Let's go right down this other one. And I believe that's the one we found still in the package. Yes, again. Big Moon Channel. So, yes, at 100 yards. I wouldn't want to get shot with this from 100 yards. I don't know about you guys. I'm going to slice that, our little targets there off, and give them to the cats outside. The rest of that will go in the house. But that right there shows you, that's definitive proof that an air rifle is still very dangerous and has a lot of energy at 100 yards. So be careful of your backstops. That just also goes to show you that a lot of people are full of crap and like to talk about stuff they don't know nothing about. They think about the little Daisy Red Rider BB guns of yesteryear. And uh, as you can plainly see, all this stuff has advanced way further than that. That's all I got for you today, guys. Get out of here.